Jar, spare a kindness for a priest of two moons. This one returns from warning the speaker of the main of a dire prophecy, only to find his fellow priests speaking little sense and doing even less. She tells the priests to burn their moon sugar, so they do. She tells them to smear cheese upon the walls, so they do. She tells them to douse the temple fires with their tongues, so they do. Bright moons shine upon you, Walker. This one pursued his friend, Zarga, before you arrived. The fool chases a beast's young with a butterfly net, and woe unto him when their mother follows the commotion. said you could play with my toys. Well, hello, my new playmate. Glad to find someone with their wits still about them. Too many crazies around here. I mean, what self-respecting person goes around chasing butterflies with a net? Everybody knows you use a hammer. I'm a cat. I thought that bit was obvious. Unless I'm not a cat. Meow? Meow. Nope, cat. Maybe you're not as sharp as I thought. Attack the... The priest, silly! You really are clueless, aren't you, plaything? How are you gonna win the game if you can't even find the pieces? Am ah, I that's more like it. Maybe there's hope for you after all. Now hurry. Oh no, stop this madness. Why can't you see reason? Seeing is the problem, Adoras. That's why we need it. Maybe we don't need it. This one's claws are sharp. Pop, pop, and we're all saved. No, it... Adora uh, says we're on a fool's errand. It won't work otherwise. Ah, Jal, you are safe. I hope the same may be said about Sarka. Moons, I pray he does not get any other ideas. The Moon Bishop told them that if they blind themselves, they would remain hidden from the dragon's sight. Uh, not just any fork. A two-tined iron fork smelling ever so slightly of roast beef. Please, help me keep them from finding this smelly thing. This one smells meat wafting on the wind. It is not an odor he would call beefy, but he thinks it may be the trail they were following. You did? What did he... Wait, why didn't you stop him? Dark moons. What sort of childish sorcerer drives clergy to chase after wild beasts and put out their eyes? Huh?
wonders if the meat of shave skins is tasty. This one must talk in circles with lunatics much longer. He too. <sighs> Gajit gets all goose pimply in the hackles just touching it. Adoras fears things are even worse than he imagined. His fork reeks of more than beef. It stinks of oblivion. The Skuma Cat. He must be responsible for our Moon Bishop's strange visions. But how has he spread his madness to the monks? An Alphic? The Skuma Cat should not be able to cross the Lunar Lattice. If he walks among us, then Joan and Jode must truly be out of alignment. Please, you go ahead to the temple. Find our Moon Bishop. Keep her from spreading any more of this madness. This one isn't sure. The mere touch of it makes him want to spit fur, but he must... It is the least that this one can do to keep his kid. Before there were the moons, or the world... There were Anur and Fadomai. From their union, all the god cats came, including the one Khajiit known as Shegarath, the crook-tailed cat who shares his madness with sugar tooths through skuma. Hadoras does not smell the sick sweetness of the drug upon them. Terrible as it is, the fleeting skuma dreams would be preferable to this all-consuming madness. The lunar lattice formed by John and Jode's light separates Nurni from the other god cats. Oh, I see you met Forky. Been talking about me again, hasn't it? Such a gossip, that one. But you can hear the option if you stick it in your ears. Give it a try. Doing what? The purring. I don't know. Just happens at the darndest times. Smelling a bowl of cream, laying eyes on a plump ball of yarn, licking me... Oh... Wait, I feel a grooming coming on. Who's trying? Oh, sure, you've kept a handful all boring and breathing. But we've been having a right riot in the temple. You ever hear? Stop. Stop? We're just getting to the best part. I think they're... Yeah! Yes, Zenza. Show us the way. Walker, you arrive at the perfect moment. You will witness our salvation. Moon Bishop Sizenza said we must ascend with Kenarthi to escape the dragons. True cats will reach the sands behind the stars by stepping between the two moons. We have not found the path yet, but now our prophet will show us the way. Oh, have faith, Joan. Zenza should see where to step. Her vision showed it true. But she cannot see it now. No, this one sees by the light of the two moons. These are not fevered sugar dreams. She saw the dragon spring from the mouth of the world and swallow the moon. Zenza tried to save them. She sees so much that she is blinded. What is the truth? Yes, I... I need to sit down. Gather my thoughts. Oh, no, you don't. 
Get your paws off my favorite plaything! Hoo-hoo! Oh, look at you! Running around like a chicken with its head cut off! Nothing beats a chicken without a noggin. Believe me, I've tried. You came awfully close to spoiling me fun, though. I like my fun. Why? So you can keep hogging all the toys? No, no, no. These are mine. I licked them. How much more marking do I have to do? Alone? Who wants to be alone? Trapped in their own head until all the life and joy of the world leaks out and leaves an ugly grey corpse. Then I whisk you home to where the real fun is. Oh, I haven't hosted company since half past. <laughs> ah, you'll love what I've done with the place. It'll be like, come on, plaything, the game's a face. <laughs> Sacred moons, I don't know what to do with your warning. Why won't you guide me when I need you now more than ever? I, I must see. There you go, Sacred trying to play with my toys again. Uncloud well, my I eyes. Oh, how the moons twinkle in those glassy eyes. You want to stare off into space and time? I'll wait your turn, plaything. There'll be plenty of time for me to chase you around this little maze after I've finished me snack. Oh, is that cream? Oh, I could go for some fatty bovine discharge right now. Why'd you go and bring it to me in a cup? Cats don't have thumbs! Well, most cats. Why don't I have thumbs? Cream. Oh, I... No! Come back! Senza could almost see it. We burn our hair and lay scorched before the dragons. But what then? But the dragons came! Senza saw it. It feels familiar. Like this one has done this before. Hey! I just messed that up! Can't leave a good mess unattended for one minute before some... Hero comes to clean it up! Go tidy your own drawers! once the anchor's built. <laughs> Think you're the cream of the croup, eh? Well, you won't be filling my head with daydreams of sweet cow squeezings this time. I'm... Hey, careful with that! What poor fool could entertain their court if they lost their head? Between you and me, a wise fool keeps a few spares. You can borrow that one if it don't get you out of my fur.
think you're the cream of the croup, eh? Yarn. So soft and bouncy. No! Wait, yes! Yarn! <laughs> Look at it come apart! Saizenza has seen you at her temple, Faithful. Yes, to buoy our temple through this storm. Joan, it will hold open a tiny gap in the lunar lattice, so our temple might slip between the moon's shadows. We will tuck it away beneath our temple, to hold us firm through these troubled times. Come, I will show you, and we can begin... Ah! I did. <laughs> but then I thought it'd be more fun to just keep you both. I was half right. You're a little too good as a plaything. It's not fair if you're always winning. That's the best part of playing games with lunatics. They're always changing the rules. You get... Look at you. Making demands. In my games. In my realm. All right. One last impossible challenge for you then. How's that for sporting? Say my name three times backwards. Ah, knew I should have gone with frontwards. They never expect that. Anyone who turned their back to a daydream prince is a wedge short of a wheel. Go on and take that one. You earned it. <laughs> Loony. Cheese of my dreams. Now, out you go before Haskill sees the mess you've made. Neither of us wants to hear that. Escape this nightmare! Quickly! Adoras, what... what have I done? It was not you, Saizenza. Walker, this one remembers you from her dreams. Your face, your voice. Two moons guiding her through the fog. Saizenza is to blame. The Skuma Cat would have never caused this chaos, if not for her weakness. As Moon Bishop, it was Saizenza's duty to protect her temple. But when the time came, 
She could do nothing without Joan and Jode to show her the way. When the visions did not come, she tried to bring them with the sacred sugar. She is no leader. It is not for her to decide. If Khajiit lost their faith in her, she would not be surprised. This one will beg forgiveness for her. For the moment, it is all this one can do to try and restore peace and order to her temple. Sharp Claw, Hadaras is glad to see you kept your wits about you. This one thought he too would lose his mind while keeping... We must tend to those who are harmed by the Skumacat's mischief and offer prayer. Saizenza's prophecy about the dragons was no deception of the Skumacat, and her prediction that they will swallow Jon and Jode weighs upon this temple and all our realm. Khajiit have always followed her without question, but now knowing that her vision may become as clouded as the Dark Moons, that faith is shaken.
Watch your step in the stitches. Tarn sent Samarak to assist you against the Euraxian officer Saulinia and her assassins. Saulinia, the assassin who murdered King Hemakar and Queen Numara. Zamarak heard that name often on the day of Euraxia's coup. No, Zamarak was guarding Kamira that day. The Scar can be a treacherous place, Five Claw, even without the addition of a Nibbanese assassin. <laughs> 